Hello, I am here to show evidence of standard four, standard four. So what we have here is a data result pool of a check for understanding that students had taken as it relates to the engineering design problem and development. As you can see, these were the scores of the students. Again, this is just a check for understanding. And what I did was I utilized this data but based on their scores to assign them their groups for their mini project. So as you can see, I evaluated the data, highlighted my students, and then also I did a count of the number of questions that they got incorrect. So you'll see that, you know, number one was pretty much mastered and number two was pretty much mastered. And then as we move along, three was so-and-so, not as, as great. And then we got to number 12, where you can see that there was a more of a struggle amongst my students. I took that data to mark every question. So we have one, two, three, four, all the way through 13. And I marked the number of percentage that students got incorrect because what that allowed me to do and what that allowed me to determine is what I needed to review with the students. And what we did after this data was I did review those, those questions. And this is just more data based on what I just showed you. So what I did with the data is I assigned my student groups for their product design mini project, as you can see here on the screen, that was determined based off of the groups that, that was determined off of the groups based on the data. So with this project, students were ex expected to design and build a, a better candy bag. And all of the instructions was here that students were to work with and we provided them the material. They were to use the estimated volume. They were to find the actual volume. And then we had some results and reflection after that. So students were assigned based off of their, their grades that they received on their check for understanding. And what I did was I allowed students, my top performing students to work with my lower performing students. I won't say lowest but my lower performed students and I just kind of counted it through there until everybody was assigned with someone that was more on a higher tier learning level and then someone at the lower tier.